specific reference to women in your view? Well, I really appreciate Pope Francis's change in tone and how he speaks so positively of women. Um, but we have seen from his actions that there's been little change from his predecessors when it comes to role of women in the church. Um, but do you see him making room um, that perhaps there is another way in which to incorporate women uh, in authoritative roles or roles that speak to authority there within the Catholic Church? Possibly, but currently men and men alone still hold all the decision-making power in the church. Um, you know, it's very much linked to ordination, and women are still excluded from uh, ordination. The Pope himself has said on ordination that door has been closed for women, um, and, you know, there's no sight that he plans to reopen that door. Hmm. So, Carol, you're there in Philadelphia. You've talked to a lot of people, uh, young um, women who are uh, seasoned. And when you look at the pictures today from the Basilica, and that really exemplified the disparity of men and women in the church, mostly of the leadership role, they were mostly men. So then what are these young ladies um, telling you about their hopes about how women will be incorporated in more authority within the Catholic Church, or do they have that hope? They do have a hope, and it, and it starts with the language the Pope uses. As you know, changes in the Catholic Church happen at a glacial pace, so I don't think we'll see the ordination of women in my lifetime, but there are other powerful roles that women can assume, and I'll just give you one of them. For the first time in its 105-year history, there is a woman president of Catholic Charities USA. That is a huge organization. Sister Donna Martha is her name. She's in charge of 70,000 employees across the United States, and she told me that it means a lot that um, that she, as a woman, was named to the spot. She doesn't say she was named to the spot because she was a woman, but she says it's a start, and it's a way to see women in power within the Catholic world that will make a difference in the long run. All right, Carol Costello, we'll leave it there. Erin Sayutana, thank you so much, ladies. Appreciate that. All right, um, let's talk about uh, others who are being featured with the Pope's visit there in Philadelphia. Uh, those who are from there are just so excited uh, that the Pope has now made his way uh, to the city of brotherly love, and that includes the well-known disco group Sister Sledge. We Okay, we are family. Well, what an appropriate um, anthem to be uh, played today for the World Family Festivals here in uh, Philadelphia. Joining me right now on the phone after just having sound check there on stage, uh, Joni Sledge with me now. So, Joni, uh, give me an idea how important this is for you and other Sister Sledge from the Philadelphia area to be a part of today's festivities. 